How's it going, Peer Structure Traders? Today we're going to be doing a brief explanation on how to set up Sierra Charts and AMP Futures for those who have been struggling, uh, for those who are going to just get started out or want to go ahead and set up an existing account. We're going to go through it with you guys. I know some of you are having a little bit of struggles when it comes to this, so I'm going to give you guys a brief breakdown of what I have and what has been working for me from the very beginning of my trading. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it, guys. We're going to start with obviously creating an account with App Futures. Once you've done that, you'll be able to access that account and have an account number. When you do access the AMP custom dashboard, you'll see dashboard, my account, platform setup, banking, and uh, trading. I did cover my account information just so I can keep that private. But from this area here, you'll be able to get your account number, your account information. But what you'll have to do is go over to platform setup. Once you hit and click platform setup, you will then be moved over into a page that says at futures trading super center live trading platform setup request from here you're going to put in the information this drop down box if your initial setup brand new to this stuff your initial first setup this is where you want to click for those who have existing account you're going to want to click on existing setup All right from there you're going to put your information in first last name app account number which should have been given to you if you don't know that you can go back to that app dashboard and get it from the account area uh, put in your email select the country I would be from the United States of America so I would look for United States USA uh, or United States I'd say this is the easiest to click I'll just click on United States and then from there scroll down further from this point you're gonna see another drop down that says which data feed I have personally CQG I've never used rhythmic MetaTrader new TT Sierra chart Denali CQG or disable all exchange data never used any of that I just click on CQG and that's what I had from the very beginning and it works perfectly fine once you click on CQG you'll see it drop down now this is where you got some options I have the bundle $30 all CME markets with the market depth this is what I have and have had from the very beginning. Uh, some will like to go with something else. There is another option that sounds pretty good, which is your bundle $3 all CME markets top of book. I've never used this personally, but for those who do try it out, please let me know. Uh, it seems like you would get obviously all markets. I'm not sure what the top of the book is. Maybe it's not the full depth of market you potentially could get but um, for those that do try it out please let me know um, but for those who just want to stick with what I got again it would be the bundle $30 all CME markets market depth from there I scroll all the way down do this protected by recapture and then submit and that's about it when it comes to app now I personally like to set up Sierra charts separately all right so what that what then I would do is go over to Sierra Charts. I would bring that over. So basically pull this away. Um, pull this away and pull up Sierra Charts over here. And for Sierra Charts, I have that package 5. Now you can see this information here. I left it up. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you know, there's information will block out just for my purposes. But uh you can see current usage time, all this, but here's where service package enabled five service package five advanced for six months. So I pay every six months, which is $172 US dollars um, for the whole six months. I believe for each month is $28 and 80 cents um, in total. There's 20% discount doing it this way. Uh, for those that like to pay yearly, I believe it's a little bit cheaper for those that like to do month to month. There is also that option as well, but this is what I pay separately for Sierra Charts. That's the platform, but the data feed would come from app, which you guys saw in the very beginning on how to set that up. Then that's the basic breakdown for what you got to do. Sierra Charts, you, for me, I set up that Sierra Charts package five and I pay it every six months. You have the option whether you want to do month to month, every six months or yearly, right? That will be dependent upon you. For the app futures, again, you got to go create that account with app futures you gotta then go over to platform setup put in the information again the drop down is 
the basic CQG. And from there, you pick the bundle package, which is $30 a month with all the CME markets in there. Um, or you can go with the $3 one. Again, I never did that. So you guys can let me know how that goes. But hopefully this helps you guys out. Again, I've been using this since almost day one of my trading and it's worked really well never really had any issues when it comes to this so if you guys have any other questions feel free to ask me um and i will get back to you guys i hope this helps guys take care